How's it going, everyone? It's Sam. We may be setting a record tonight for Bitcoin. It's very likely that that's about to happen. Unless we have a big dump, we are going to set some records. Let me explain what that means and why that is. Let's go through some of the things that are happening in the market as well. If you don't mind, hit subscribe. Turn on the bell notification underneath the video so you can see future videos just like this one. The last 24 hours has been nuts. The last 48 hours has been nuts. The last 72 hours has been nuts. I think it was about about 60 hours ago that we started pumping from 51,000 up. And yeah, we've just had a lot of green. And there are a lot of altcoins now that are pumping as well. So we'll talk about that. If you don't mind though, hit subscribe, turn on the bell notification underneath the video. Like I said, there's also a link down there to Marjax in case you want to start trading cryptocurrencies. As I've said, in bull markets is when you can make a lot of money from doing this and you want to have this set up so that way if you do want to trade, you can get in easily. Like if you see some kind of resistance breaking around let's say 64K or 69K, if you can see us start to break out to the upside or some big piece of news come out, you might want to have something like this set up. There's also a link down there to Blowfin in case you want to trade there. You can trade cryptocurrencies. As you can see, I have a handful of longs open on these platforms and they're printing money when the market goes up. So you can definitely check that out. There's also a link down there to CoinW2, which also allows spot buying. Now, we know that there are a lot of big entities buying Bitcoin here today. Let's take a look at Mr. 100 or Mrs. 100, whoever it is. They've already bought one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, a ton of times, right? They bought another 10 times maybe, buying a lot of Bitcoin here today after they bought 1,500 Bitcoin yesterday. Whoever this is has deep, deep pockets, maybe a sovereign wealth fund, maybe a country, maybe Jeff Bezos, who knows? But they continue to buy a few hundred to a few thousand Bitcoin a day. And... You know, we are seeing a lot of liquidations here. Let's reload the page here. Obviously, when there's a lot of volatility, which yesterday was very volatile, moving up from what, 57,000 to 64,000, back down to 58,000, now sitting at 62,500, there are going to be lots of liquidations. As you can see here, yeah, about the same shorts and longs being liquidated. It is fun though, right? The market is up. <laughs> Naib Bukele just told... Peter Schiff to cry harder. This is the stuff that is so funny that you get in a bull market. He said, talk about those profits after you sell and realize them to Naib Bukele, uh, who was talking about how much money they've made, how much uh, Bitcoin they've accumulated and how one Bitcoin is one Bitcoin. He tells him to cry harder. Imagine a president of a nation telling someone to cry harder. That's hilarious. Now, it does help that the ETFs bought a lot of Bitcoin yesterday. That's what's pushing up the market for the most part. First update for the 228 Bitcoin holding uh, holdings of the Bitcoin ETFs. Massive 11,211 Bitcoin was purchased yesterday. Net of GBT selling. Purple highlight is the estimate. So let's take a look at this. They estimate that BlackRock bought about 10,000 Bitcoin and that Fidelity bought about 4,000 Bitcoin and an estimated... 3,000 was sold from GBTC. So he estimates about 181 million sold from GBTC overall. That would be quite bullish. We had a record inflow day, $677 million going into Bitcoin ETFs. Again, record inflow day. The, the volume actually beat by two and a half, uh, one and a half X from the first day, but like two and a half X from any of the other days. So I was actually expecting a little bit more inflows, but that's okay. As there's more AUM, there's going to be more that's bought and sold all the time. It's not going to be just buys because there will be people that bought in these days over here that went from 40,000 to 60,000 now that they're taking a little bit of profits. And we should have some record days moving forward too. Um, we'll talk about that, why we may even see more demand. But as you can see here, BlackRock now holds over 150,000 Bitcoin. Fidelity, over 100,000 Bitcoin. Like BlackRock in the next few weeks is set to pass MicroStrategy. MicroStrategy has been accumulating for four years. BlackRock started buying a month and a half ago. It's nuts. We will also 
probably see more inflows. Look at this. This is the acceleration. This is almost like an S curve. Uh, we are seeing an acceleration in the buying of Bitcoin over the last week from slowing down to a negative day to now positive days breaking records. And I would not be surprised if we saw more records being broken because people are expecting UBS and Morgan Stanley to platform multiple Bitcoin ETFs in March. This is for from sources at the firm's UBS clients questions uh, and appetite are unavoidable at this point. Moving up our timeline, Morgan Stanley says the normal 90 day process for new products looks like it's going to shorten to 45 days. So they're getting a huge amount of demand and they can't reach it right now. They can't supply the demand. So they either have to farm it out to other ETFs or start their own ETFs. This is really bullish. These are really large platforms with a lot of AUM. And they're going to throw a marketing budget as well. So hopefully it helps all of Bitcoin in that more people will hear about it. Bitcoin is also set to make history tonight with the highest monthly ever, uh, highest close month, highest monthly close ever. As you can see here, it is set to close at above 62,000 would be a month, uh, a new record. And we also are set to have the highest gain on a monthly candle in history. We started the month around 40,000. Now we're up at the low $60,000 range. This is better than either of the last two bull markets. As I've said before, and I said this weeks ago, we could see a big move. We've seen big moves in the past on Bitcoin. We've seen moves from, uh, for example, in the last bull market, we saw a move from 42,000 to 58,000 within about two weeks. But we've never seen a $20,000 move like this, just massive. Uh, and there's so much accumulation. You have to realize this time is different. You know, that old saying, this time is different. Uh, that usually kills you. But this time is different because there are new demand sources, people that have never been able to buy before. And it's obvious because there are people or entities buying thousands of Bitcoin every single day. And we've never had any kind of buying pressure like that. The supply is more liquid than ever as well. <laughs> Now, there will be people that try to FUD you out of your positions. For example, the U.S. government transferred 15,000 Bitcoin to two new wallets. And some people will expect this to be dumped on the market, this 15,000 Bitcoin. I would not be surprised if they're just moving it around for some other reason. I don't really see a point in then dumping this 200,000 Bitcoin. Like, what good does it do? Maybe they're a little bit more liquid, but they have massive budgets. Anyone that sells this, right? like any department... And the U.S. government that sells this, I'm not even sure who custodies it, but they have massive budgets. They don't need $12.3 billion. Like, what's the point of that? Now, I think they're more likely to hold it as a strategic reserve, right? What, what's the point of taking the chips off the table when the asset's appreciating and when it does diversify you? And there are some people that think that there are other countries buying Bitcoin. And we know that there are some, right? Like El Salvador, we know that certain countries are mining Bitcoin, but there's also rumors that uh, Russia, China, they have strategic allocations to Bitcoin, maybe Saudi Arabia or Qatar is buying Bitcoin. So if this ever came out that the government said that they were going to hold this as a strategic reserve, what does that candle look like on the chart? I don't know, 20K, 10K. And this changes everything because even more countries would dollar cost average into Bitcoin, buy Bitcoin right away. I don't think that's necessarily going to happen. I think it's more likely they just hold this. They don't sell. But I could always be wrong. Now, let me know your thoughts on this underneath the video. There are some altcoins running. As I said, I actually added to some longs the other day. Uh, I saw Solana staying stagnant, actually moving down a little bit while we were seeing a big Bitcoin run. It's kind of like a rubber band. Like the Bitcoin, which is this side of the rubber band, can move up and stretch the rubber band. But eventually... The altcoins move, especially if they're good altcoins like Solana. So I went long. Now it's up 16% in the last day since I went long. It's just nuts. Uh, I think I'm actually up closer to 18%, 19%. But a lot of other altcoins are doing well too. Like Ethereum here, you can see up 4.5%. Obviously, Bitcoin dominance is moving up because it's moving up more than the general market. I think dominance is right around 55%, 54%. But a lot of other altcoins doing well, like Cardano up 10%, Dogecoin up 30%. Uh, 
uh, if you actually go by the 24 hour, meme coins in general are doing really well. Bonk up 34%, Shiba Inu up 22%, uh, some other cryptos obviously up well as well, like I said. So it is nice to see some altcoins moving up. Now, some people think that alts aren't gonna move up because there's a lot of money just buying the Bitcoin ETFs and pushing up the Bitcoin ETFs. I wouldn't be surprised if, if the cycle's a little bit different this time than in the past because we don't have as much native Bitcoin that's easy to sell on Coinbase and then just you go buy alts with it. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw some profit taking, but not as much as usual. But the alts will still run because I plan, I, I, I think Bitcoin is going to go up much more than where it is right now. So alts will probably still have people that hold native Bitcoin that go cycle in them. And even if you have a Bitcoin ETF and you're just an individual investor, there are going to be some people like that, that just go and sell on Fidelity, withdraw, put into Coinbase, and then buy alts with it. So yeah, we're still gonna have a crazy, crazy alt season, so be ready for that. But honestly, I think this is just the beginning. I think this is just the beginning of the next bull cycle. We're not even at new all-time highs, and there's so much excitement. There are people coming back into crypto. There are people talking about crypto the first time in years, which can be scary. Like I, I said to someone, there are like local top signals. I do see it. Like I'm super excited. Views are really good. People are talking about crypto. They haven't talked about it in years and bragging about their gains. But this time is sort of different. Even if we see a little bit, bit of a dip, right? Well, if you had sold right when the ETFs were approved at $47,000, $48,000, you, you felt like a genius when we went down to 40 and then it got right it got uh, right back up. It got bought, bought right back up. And then, yeah, you probably sat on the sidelines waiting to buy more. And then we went up to 63000 So I'm not I'm not trying to time this market. I'm not trying to look for, for local tops. Now, maybe I take some profits on some cryptos that have gone up a lot, some smaller alts, or some leverage positions. But I'm not trying to sell my stack of Bitcoin yet. That's not the time we're in. We're not even at the next halving and we're seeing massive demand that's accelerating, right? There's so many people that can't buy Bitcoin yet from the ETFs that are trying to get approved to buy it. So be ready. The next couple months, the next couple, maybe years are going to be crazy. We're going to set records hopefully tonight. Let me know your thoughts underneath the video. Again, you can check out the links to Marjax, Blowfin, CoinW. If you want to check out HG Algo, which can be super helpful really, really helpful. Check out the link underneath the video. I'll see you in the next.